If you'd like to learn a bit about Microsoft licensing, or any licensing for that matter, you're in the right place. In the previous lesson, we looked at the license, what a license is. Now let's look at the next core Microsoft principle of licensing. A license must be assigned to either a user or device. This is how it's formulated in the product terms. Customer needs a license for every product and separately licensed functionality used on a device or by a user. Before customer uses software under a license, it must assign that license to a device or a user as appropriate. If a license is sold as a user license, it must be assigned to a user. Then when a license is sold as a device license, it must be assigned to a device. But what is a user and what is a device? A licensed user means a single person to whom a license is assigned. Very short and very simple. And the key word here is person. Service accounts do not require user licenses, but if you have, say, a reception and there's a single user account for the whole reception, and there are three to five receptionists using a piece of software throughout the day, if that is a user license software, you need a license per each person, regardless of the number of accounts they use. But if that software allows device licensing, what you can do is you can assign a single device license to that computer at the reception. A licensed device means a physical hardware system to which a license is assigned. It is a physical hardware system. A common mistake is to assume that the license may be assigned to a virtual machine. When you want to license a virtual machine running on the hardware platform, you license the virtual machine, but you still assign the license to the hardware platform. The hardware platform is the licensed device. There's a third definition also, which is a licensed server, which is essentially the same as a licensed device. The only reason this definition is introduced by Microsoft in the product terms is to explain server software licensing. Otherwise, in general, a licensed server equals a licensed device. Look at the second part of the definition. Server means a physical hardware system capable of running server software. You can take a laptop, install Windows Server on it, assign a Windows Server license to it, and there you go, you have a licensed server. Let's look at those two definitions side by side. You can notice now that they are almost identical. Let's recap. There are two assignment targets, users and devices. Devices are always physical, not virtual, and licenses are not assigned to virtual machines. And importantly, a user is a person, a human being. I tend to call users warm bodies. A friend of mine says a protein life form, which is not entirely accurate because a dog or a cat, they don't qualify as users. And essentially, Service accounts do not require licenses. If a software may be licensed either per user or per device, you are able to choose the most effective, the most efficient licensing model for your circumstances. If a user is licensed, then they may use any device to access functionality of the licensed software. The devices they use do not then require specific device licenses. But if you choose the device licensing model, in that case, every user of a licensed device may access the functionality of the licensed software. It's either this or that. It's either a user licensing model or a device licensing model, in case the software supports both licensing models. What's important as well is there are no concurrent licenses and no connection licenses. The other thing to bear in mind is that this definition of a user or a device applies to Microsoft licensing. It may be different for different vendors. For example, in the Oracle world, named user plus definition includes both devices and users. And some mail security products could be licensed per mailbox and their definition of a user would be equal to a mailbox. So when you're researching other vendors licensing, please review their definitions and don't refer to Microsoft definitions and vice versa. And if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft licensing, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of the updates. Thank you, and I definitely hope to see you soon.